Welcome to the future. Hey guys, got level here, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how I made this DIY Elgato ring light. I shouldn't be calling it an Elgato ring light, it was heavily inspired by the Elgato ring light. If you haven't seen my video on the review of the actual ring light, you can go check it out now. But the Elgato ring light is about $200, and I understand that some of you just do not have the budget. So I decided, hey, I wanna see how far I can go with a DIY version. There's a couple of things that Elgato actually does that is very specific to the Elgato ring light that I really wanted to have in this specific DIY. First one is it needs to be smart. I need to be able to connect it and control it through my phone. Second thing, I need to be able to shift between a warm white to a cold white, which is something that I've never done before in my previous DIY ring lights. And the third thing is instead of having the LEDs facing directly at the person through that little diffusion sheet, they actually have it inside here. This is why there's a trim and basically the light bounces around, but what you get, what you see is pure reflection you never see an actual LED hotspot which makes it easy on the eyes as Elgato claims and that is true with the Elgato ring light it's really easy on the eyes compared to other um, ring lights and also other DIY ring lights that I've made in the past where they just shine through your eyeballs anyways let's start with a little disclaimer telling you that hey I'm gonna be working with very sharp objects very hot tools so there's possible accidents that can happen if you're underage please ask for adult supervision if you're gonna do this I don't necessarily recommend you doing this this is more educational purposes and just me trying out stuff. I own the Elgato ring light. Elgato was kind enough to send it to me. Um, one thing that I need to correct on my Elgato ring light review is that I said that the app will, when I first put out the video, I said that their app was paid, but the actual Elgato control center is a free app. So I was completely wrong. Most of you haven't seen that because I actually managed to cut it out. But for those who saw that, you can control the Elgato ring light for free with the control center app. And as long as you connect it once, it's on your network. So you can connect it with your stream deck and stuff like that. Anyways, let me show you how I built it. Okay, uh, first thing that is probably gonna be an issue in the future, well, it's not probably, I know that it's gonna be an issue, is that I don't have a compass. I need to invest in a big compass, but I'm using a thumbtack with a string to draw my circles. Well, in this case, half circles, because I didn't have a piece of cardboard that was big enough to do the whole um, size of what is inspired by the Elgato <laughs> ring light, which is, 31 centimeters, I believe, the inner diameter, and then the outer is like 43 or something like that. Anyways, um, I just eyeballed that little thing, that little stand in the middle where your camera is gonna be placed because this is something that I'm actually adding to the DIY. For once, I usually don't put that because I'm thinking, hey, you, if you're making it out of cardboard, it's gonna be super light, so you can just pin it to the wall and then use your tripod to hold your phone. But in this case, I wanted it to be as finished as possible. Okay, here you can see me tracing um, those little trims. I don't, I don't know how, how I would, <laughs> what I should call them, but those are the things that will cover any potential. Those are the borders, basically. They will cover any potential hotspot that would be created by the actual LEDs, so that the LEDs are not pointing towards you. You don't see the actual LEDs, and all the light will be reflected. So here I'm tracing the outer one, and this one is a little smaller on the actual Elgato ring light because I believe they don't have any lights on the outside they only have in the inside or vice versa I don't I don't, I don't remember but in my case I want it to be everywhere I want lights in the inner circle and I want lights in the outer circle just to maximize the amount of well the amount of light light intensity that I can get out of this cheap LED strip so the LED strip is a smart one and it comes with a Wi-Fi module that you just plug it in. So if you want to use it for anything else with other components later on, you can just, you know, unplug it and plug it back into whatever you want. Here I'm, I'm gluing in the um, inner, well, ex extrusion, I'm going to call this. It's made out of um, cereal boxes. And I just doubled the length, oh, not the length, the thickness of my LED strip. It was something like four millimeters. So in total, I just put um, something like, was it eight millimeters? No, it was, well, yeah. So in total, I put something like one and a half just to have enough space. <laughs> I almost dropped that. And this is a little ball screw that I bought uh, along with the LED strip. And this one is great because it actually has a cold shoe. I I'm gonna show you later on. 
Okay, always test your LEDs before installing them. Of course, here it's searching for Wi-Fi, so this is why it's blinking between the uh, warm white uh, with the cold white. Okay, and here I'm gonna create a mount in order to put that ball screw head and it's, you know, it's uh, double corrugated cardboard. It's really, really, it's stronger than I expected to be fair. But the cool thing with that specific ball screw is that at the bottom, this is it. You can see a cold shoe mount. So I have a shoe, <laughs> which is that fl flat rectangle part or square part. And then I have this thing to screw onto it. So I can drive that through secure it and then i can put my my ball screw on top of it as you can see i secure it with a ton of hot glue at the bottom and then boom and there you go and the cool thing now is that i can put a camera there i can put an i can put the actual ball screw i can put a phone mount i can put whatever i want it is now compatible with whatever you want to put on top of it Okay, uh, here I'm testing the spot for the Wi-Fi module. I I um I had a hole in the back for the cable to go um, right in the back. I didn't secure it, and the yeah, maybe I'll secure it uh, later on. Here I'm just making uh, strips for the outside circle. Same thing. I calculated the depth of the actual cardboard, and on top of that, I put twice the the thickness of my LED strip because I want to do two passes of my LED strip on both the inner diameter <laughs> and the outer uh, uh, edges. Uh, I'm putting a lot of hot glue in there and because I really don't want this to, to be, um, I don't want it to die <laughs> like two days in, right? And if I drop it, I want it to be as solid as possible for cardboard anyways. Here I'm just putting um, black spray paint. I would not recommend you going with Chinese spray paint the way I did because I, I don't know, like matte spray paint is something that you would do. And then I'm gonna cover the inside with uh, tin foil. Of course, normal, you know, cooking <laughs> tin foil, nothing special here. I just pressed it with my hand to make a sort of imprint of where I need to cut. And then I cut uh, inside those lines, put some, um, what is this, CA glue? Normal uh, wood glue, but this one is is like um, it's normal like school glue. How do you call this? <laughs> I think it. I think it is CA glue. Um, and then this will dry and it will be transparent. It's it's completely fine. This is not important because this will will all be covered anyways. So here I'm doing the um, LED strip. There is a part at the bottom where where it's um, it actually joins. I don't know if you can see it here. But it's it's completely fine because it's not visible since I kept uh, two, I kept the LEDs on both sides basically, so you won't really see it. Plus my um, you will see that my diffusion is quite um, effective basically. So I cut that part. There's like a couple centimeters left. It was it was weird because that's five meters of LED strips, and and it was just a pretty much the perfect length for this, which which I didn't. You know, I improvise most of this. All right, so this is my diffusion and I do not recommend it. <laughs> so I went with shower curtain, but this one is particularly thin and it was, you know, it, there's this, oh, there's this, um, what's it called? Ah, my English is so bad today. Um, <laughs> see, I tried to straighten it out with an iron and it did not work. It actually made more, um, how do you call that? Anyways. Anyways, it, it wasn't perfect, basically. It wasn't super soft or whatever. And then, um, this is my other trouble, is that this part had to be cut. The 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 uh, the borders had to be cut and stitched together, and it was a mess. At this point, it, has, it had been two afternoons that I was working on it, so I was rushing everything. So it did not come out as perfect as I wanted it to be. I tried, you know, um, adjusting it and stuff like that. But this is the final result. It's, it's messy, it's rough but it does its job and it i think it replicates the um the agato ring light as as well as you can do with you know homemade stuff as you can see okay you can you can see how the um the shower curtain isn't great i have two sheets actually i double it's two layers of shower curtain but the diffusion is actually nice so basically this ring light is beautiful when it's lit if it's not then you can tell up close that hey this is not supposed to be like that this is kind of funky looking but that is mostly just because i do not have a compass to make perfect circles 
So a lot of things were had were um, a lot of things had to be adjusted and and forced into place. And as you can see, I have a lot of light leaks. But hey, that being said, if we're talking about a functional thing, this is functional. This is a hundred percent functional. And if you definitely have nowhere near two hundred bucks to pay for a ring light, this would work perfectly fine for you to take pictures uh, to live stream it it well the the led the leds are not as bright or as powerful as the elgato ring light so it's not gonna get hot or anything but of course it's a diy so maybe it will fall apart in a couple of weeks <laughs> okay so that was the video okay so right now i'm gonna go ahead and install the app and uh and show you how i can control it with my phone i still haven't done that part yet as you can see it's kind of similar it's really similar to the actual elgato ring light in size and shape and all of that and of course my favorite part so far is that is that little ball screw that that holds so well it is so solid you have no idea i can lift this whole thing up like that by the way um the back i added this part that i didn't show in the video that holds that basically holds it on the tripod right there so we can just slide it in you can just slide it in like so and it's on and if you can press a little bit because there's like a hole in there but anyways um let's plug it in so right now it's already pretty bright but i haven't installed the app so i don't know if this is max brightness all i know is that it's flickering because it's looking for it for the app and for the wi-fi is it controller one is that it Whoop. oh look at that look at that the actual controls on the brightness and also the um, the color temperature let's turn it on okay so what happens if i do this okay okay all right let me let me try to let me try to make that really visible for you guys okay so the only two lights is my diy light and the elgato key light oh ring light sorry and here you can you can see the the first issue that you get when you're working with cheap diy light strips you see this the flickering going up we're at uh, um we're at a pretty high speed with a camera so that's what happens if i lower the speed it might change it doesn't seem to be changing that is an issue but anyways let me um try to make it so that you guys really see the difference between really okay now that's visible that's really warm and then that gets really cold, <laughs> really, really cold. Oh my God, that's so cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> uh, there's a warm category. You can pick exactly which warm you want. Oh, what the heck? Why? All right, I'll take it. And then that is a weird way this is just for like ui like there's no advantage of doing this it's just <laughs> yeah it's just it's just a dimmer but it's <laughs> this is dumb what is mike hello what hello I am from the future. I don't think the Elgato ring light can do this. <laughs> Why? Why though? Why? <laughs> Why? Okay. Um, and there's a music tab. Please select music. Yeah, no, I'm not going to give it access to my files. Anyways, um, anyways, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> another test another thing that i want to show you is the, how does it work you know it's in front of the camera like it has to be behind the camera so let me show you the effect and that's the cool part the fact that i can just get rid of all of that all together no issues so i'm gonna turn off the okay so the elgato one is completely turned off and this is the diy and it's um let me control it so yeah it's in cold cold mode and let's go for warm this looks great what the hell this it really doesn't get as bright as the elgato ring light but this looks super clean 
Let's go for super warm. Maybe too warm. Go down. As you can see, there's some flickering. As soon as you start messing with the intensity, you get some flickering. And that's ah, completely turned off. What you're seeing right now is one of my smart lights. Um, Alexa, turn off top lights. Okay, so now there's <laughs> the only light that you're seeing right now is my screen. Okay. All right, so. Not bad, not bad. Knowing that this is the, the sensitivity, sensitivity on my camera is pretty low right now. Let me put it at what I would put like a normal. Yeah, okay. So this is exactly what I would have the settings be if I were on the Elgato one, for example. This, what is this? This genuinely looks decent and good. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that. And of course, like it's it's pretty bright. You get this is five meters, right? That is great. I can do all the things that I can do with the with the Elgato one. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that. Uh, there's I don't know if there's much else to say. Um, this is my DIY ring light. It's bright. It has some cool features, and it can listen to my. <laughs> It can listen to my voice and respond. Welcome to the future. My name is Gal Level. This needs to be in the intro. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start playing around with it. Stop, stop, stop. Hopefully this was educational or something like that. I, I, I don't know. If you have any questions about the DIY and what I use, join the Discord. Well, you can leave them in the comment section below, but you can join the Discord. Again, this is not something that I need, but I might actually end up using it for other, other stuff. It's like my second ring light. I don't need a second ring light, but whatever. So the total price of this, let me, let me make sure that I'm not saying anything wrong, but the actual LEDs, cost me with the wi-fi module well the bluetooth module cost me 19.99 less than 20 euros and then the ball screw without the phone mount cost me 6.99 so that is less than 30 that is about 27 euros total of course i'm, I'm not gonna count the cardboard and and the hot glue that i spent on this or nor the the shower curtain because i i had that a while and it cost me like one one euro but yeah for less than 30 bucks this this is it this is it same size um not the same intensity definitely not definitely not the li the same lifespan as the actual elgato ring light but i said that already Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video. I've been actually working on this for so, so long and I'm so tired of it. <laughs> so let me just finish this, edit it, and then post it for you guys. If you have any questions, again, my Discord, uh, go to gumroad.com slash get level to get some uh, pretty cool uh, overlays. There's some Halloween spooky stuff there and watch my previous video. If you check out top right, there will be the best video that YouTube thinks that you should watch next. And then, and at the bottom of that, you will see my most recent video. So check them out, any of, any of them, I don't, any of them, any of them, do your thing. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud. Guy level out. <laughs>